Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover unit rates. And a unit rate is a ratio between two different units, and we have to get to a denominator of one. That's going to give us our per one unit. That might not make complete sense right now, but as we go through the three examples on your screen, you'll start to see what I mean by the per one unit. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 30 miles in two hours. We need to find how many miles there are per one hour. So we find a unit rate by writing out our ratio as a fraction so we have 30 miles per two hours. So I'll put miles, hours here. So what we need to do, we need to get a denominator of one. That's going to give us per one hour here. So in order to get a denominator of one, how do we get that two to equal one? Well, let's divide it by two. And with fractions in order to keep that equivalent so we don't change the value whatever we do to the bottom we must do to the top so we need to divide the 30 by 2 that will keep everything equivalent and give us the unit rate because we'll have a denominator of 1 now 2 divided by 2 is 1 30 divided by 2 is 15 so now we have 15 miles per one hour or 15 miles per hour so 30 miles in two hours equals 15 miles per hour or per one hour so that's our unit rate number two 40 apartments on five floors so we want to find how many apartments per floor so again let's set it up as a fraction 40 apartments on five floors. So we need to find out how many apartments per one floor. So again, we need a denominator of one. So we do that by dividing both our numerator and denominator by five. Again, I chose five, so we get this to equal one. So five divided by five is one per one floor, 40 divided by five is eight. So there are eight apartments per one floor. And we'll read this from left to right. 40 apartments on five floors equals eight apartments per one floor or per floor. And lastly, 16 laps in four days. So we need to find out how many laps per one day set it up as a fraction and now we need a denominator of one to give us our unit rate so we divide by four both the top and bottom numerator and denominator by four 16 divided by four will give us four laps four divided by four will give us one day so four laps per one day or per day. 16 laps in four days equals four laps per day. So there you have it. There's how you find a unit rate. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.